this video is going to be a different kind of video and to give you a better understanding of what kind of video this is i think i should refer to my old video i shot a video on procrastination i talked about what is procrastination and how to overcome it and why i'm making this video the same purpose i shot that video to overcome procrastination at least by feeling a sense of accountability to you since i've told it online so it it made me push myself more so definitely it has helped me overcome procrastination of course i'm not perfect but still i am able to handle procrastination way better than before so similarly this video is also about another obstacle which i've been facing for years now and i want to make myself accountable to you so that again it helps me overcome the obstacle so this it this is very simple uh, and yet it was very it is very hard to overcome so the weakness or the obstacle i'm talking about is thinking about what people think before i do anything you may call it fear of judgment or you may you may just call it as caring too much about people whatever it is i have been i have been withholding myself or i have been restricting myself to not execute many ideas because people won't like it or people i don't know what people will think about it and that is why i am filming this video and this video does not have cinematic lighting no great quality audio there is nothing great about the production of this video right i am not caring much about the quality here i am filming this video to get that sense of accountability so that i can try to remove that obstacle out of my way so that i am able to execute on good ideas that come to my mind without restricting myself to what people think so by that i think you know why i am doing this video and and i think you know what is my little secret also of course it's not a secret anymore because i i am talking to the camera and it is online so it is not a secret anymore but but the thing is yeah it has stopped me a lot it, it has been stopping me for so many years if you go back to my channel and see the old videos i used to make music and upload a video without my face on it i mean without my video on it. i would just paste an image over the music file the audio clip and then submit it to youtube that's it because i was really afraid to show my face in front of the camera i was i don't know what people would think i was i i was really scared so uh then of course i overcame that after a while uh so then if you see the intro video that was my first video where i showed my face to the camera but again in that video also i am not true to myself right so it is mask due to fear fear of what people would think so i don't want that to continue that's why i'm doing this kind of video because i like to share these kinds of videos but i didn't because i i was i was afraid what people would think this is what i like to do right i i like i like music videos music videos will be there in this channel because that is part of me music is a part of me so that is not going anywhere but i like to talk like this also i want to show my studio yes i am doing my studio too so stay tuned for that get subscribed and click on the notification bell so that you get notified when i post any new videos i want to do all of those things i want to talk about my compositions i want to show my studio i want to show the whole process how i create music videos i want to talk about what exactly i'm feeling right now in fact creativity is about expression right and i think this form of resistance has been there for a long time in my life why i don't know probably it's hidden in my childhood memories i don't know recently i read a book called the courage to be disliked it's mainly based on adler psychology so it, it says you should separate life tasks you should separate life tasks and you should not intervene other people's tasks so making music videos is my task what people think is their task right so i should have distinguished that very clearly so that would have cleared a lot of overthink right instead of doing that I just started overthinking what people would think if I post this video. I was assuming what people would assume and it is none of my task. Of course this adler psychology is not something new. Krishna has told it thousands of years ago. You just do the work and leave the results to me. But we just we just, we've just heard about it here. We still don't know. We still not realize what that great statement is, right? So I kept on doing the same mistakes. I restricted myself 
so much i don't know probably a 50 ideas which i haven't executed right because what people would think of course there are other supporting cues that add up you know resistance is waiting for me to give some reason it's not even reason it is an excuse and soon more and more excuses will pile up on so you will never execute those ideas i'm saying this not only because i couldn't execute some great ideas or something it's as simple as this so right now i'm talking right but previously i would think oh no how could how could i do that people are here because of my music and i'm not supposed to talk to them i mean then is the platform even worth it then of course none of it is true right in fact it is opposite so if i talk to you you get a better connection with who i am and you know me better so you can decide whether you have to stick around right and hence the quality of the channel will be good but instead i did the opposite i always did the opposite i didn't talk to the audience instead i restricted myself to you know quality music videos so i think i've made my point i was overthinking of what people think and by this video i am trying to get a sense of accountability so that i i can remove that that part of resistance i can remove that form of resistance from my life and hopefully i i continue to execute on good ideas that come to my mind and by that i also want to tell you that my youtube videos will be more consistent and i i will be executing on variety of ideas which i wanted to as always thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one